Hey guys, it's time for another homebrew. And today we're just going to star the Autumn Amber Ale from Midwest Homebrewing. I got some some private questions asking me stuff uh, on my last brew in a bag and and one of the biggies was how much water to put in. So last time I used seven gallons, which is this notch on my stick. This time I'm going to try for uh, about seven and a half gallons. I think I'll go with this time. And because I'm doing this on the propane burner, I'm figuring it's going to lose more water. Now for brewing a bag method, you put in all the water. All the water. You put in your sparge water, your mesh water, everything. All you need to think about with brewing the bag method is um, is if you've got enough water after you pull the grains out that it's going to boil down to the amount of wort you want that we want it to 5.25 gallons or five gallons these are u.s gallons that's all you gotta think about so it's you can go do some hair equations if you want to or you can just get the feel for your equipment do a batch with how much water you think it would take and then try another batch and then try another batch this is just for fun and you're just doing it one thing i'm learning is that grains are very forgiving that this whole all grain process is very forgiving. You're going to end up with, well, I've just tasted my HB51 Collaboration Amber Ale. I just transferred it yesterday and I tasted it and it was great. I'm like, man, man. So that's why I'm doing another brew in a bag. And then until I want to do something even more better, um, I'm going to stick with this. So I'm going to show you how it's done again. So here we go. This is another brew in the bag. I'm going to use seven and a half gallons of water. It's about a 10, 10 pound grain bill, not quite. And so let's see how it goes. First, we're going to put in seven and a half gallons of water. Let's go. Okay, so the water's up to 154. 154, 155, right in there. And I've put a stainless steel colander down in the bottom of this uh, pot so that uh, when I'm going to increase the heat later on, it won't uh, melt the bag. So here, let's dough in. I'll stir it to make sure there's no dough balls, but with the brew in the mag method, there's so much water to the grain that the chance of getting dough balls is minimal. Lit up. <laughs> okay, so I've got my timer here. Watching my timer. This is what I do while I mash. Now I was thinking everybody says, while you're uh, making a home brew, you're supposed to have a home brew. Well, I got to thinking, Boiling hot liquids, propane flames. I think I'll have a root beer. <laughs> this brewing method is so hard. You know, it's so hard. I, maybe nobody should try it because it really is so hard. It's so hard. Still dead, still dead, root dead. Okay, I've added back some heat. I'm just uh, almost to 170 and I'm gonna pull the bag. Now I'll let the bag drain a little bit. And then I'm going to set it over the top of a fermenter to finish draining and add that, uh, that liquid back to the pot while I'm bringing the pot up to boiling now. Okay, I have my first boil starting up. I'm reducing the heat a great deal because I don't want it to boil over. This top edition, one ounce of powder toe. We are 15 minutes before the end of the boil, so I'm going to put my wart chiller in and my whirl flock tablet. And it sure is pretty out here today. Great myrtles are blooming. 
and uh, that's a desert willow tree over there and uh, lots of wildflowers everywhere pretty day beautiful the sky is just billowing with beautiful clouds nice day to be making a homebrew So flame is now off and now we start the wart chiller. As soon as I turned on the wart chiller, uh, the sky opened up and we got downpoured. We got drenched, <laughs> as you can see from my papers. So I had to run the camera inside and do damage control, got the uh, the wart chill and got it into this fermenter, sterilized, clean sterilized fermenter. The bricks reading I got, I got on this in my refractometer was 11. The papers say I should have gotten between 42 and 46. So I'm using regular Munson's and here it is rehydrated. So now we're going to pitch it. Okay guys, there we have it, closed with the airlock. You want to turn, <laughs> now you turn it back.